Consumer Electronic Show, Las Vegas. Just give you a little flavor of uh, just this one South Hall where Live Map is at. Uh, there's huge. It's 175,000 people. It's spread out. You have to take a monorail or a Uber to get to every place that uh, has has uh, exhibitors. Uh, I don't know how many exhibitors, thousands. And like I say, there's 175,000 uh, attendees in that number area. But uh, huge show. Uh, I'm just walking back. Uh, a very short distance to where the live map booth is. And you can see little robots here. Um, but uh, live map is the reason I'm here at the Consumer Electronics Show uh, to be the brand ambassador and being a Harley Davidson motorcyclist and uh, running HD Bitch and Forum been asked to uh, represent uh, them as a biker and understanding what a motorcycle rider wants and needs out of a high-tech helmet. Uh, we're coming up here on Live Maps booth. Uh, you can see it uh, just ahead now. And give you a little quick look of the booth. Uh, as we come up here, I'll walk around. This is uh, one side of the booth. And quick view of uh, some of the tables and conference tables for customers to come talk and ask questions. And out over on this other side, uh, information and then the helmets that are on display this is Vladimir Vladimir I've got uh, this a little movie I'm making that I'll post on the forum but I'm trying to give a little bit of a view of your booth and some of the CES show and we'll share this on the forum uh, for the members but uh, Vladimir is one of the engineers uh, for live map and uh, here we have the finished uh, helmet that's a hardware prototype D that's going to be what will go to mass production. Yeah. So, uh... And then the engineering one that's over here. This is Alex. Taking a little video, Alex. Alex is uh, one of the live map uh, members of the team and lives in uh, New York City. He's become a new a Russian that's become a New Yorker. Yeah. yeah. So this is the engineering prototype. Yeah, we can we already show it and mm -hmm. uh, people know a lot about this prototype. We are testing technology. There is projector, but this projector in the chin area and uh, the screen is uh, like a piece of visor, banded piece of visor. And uh, what we did in the final one, we just moved this banded piece of glass like that and made the whole visor. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, here we have the visor. The visor looks kind of weird, but uh, because of this special shape of the visor, that's why picture reflects from the visor. And we also move projector. He's not here right now. It goes there, so uh, that's what we done. It and this is uh, the big step for us because right now we have almost just helmet without any kind of screen. A lot of people uh, tell us, "Oh, you have screen," but from beginning we knew that we will do it. We just uh, it's just too expensive to do the whole visor because uh, you should do very precise press form and you should have very high quality visor if you want to test technology that's why we have projector here and the screen here All right. 
and the and long focal length of 20 meters yes. of the navigation image floating out in front of the rider yeah, at a right. distance that he's already scanning for safety reasons as it is. Yeah, so. that's right, because we, we do some tests. For example, I tested one product like Nuvis. Right. And uh, I realized that if focus distance one meter, two meter, three meter, it's not, there is no difference between smartphone on my handlebar, you know, because uh, if you're using smartphone on your handlebar, uh, the distance between smartphone and your eye is about one meter. So in reality, there is not such a big difference between two meters and one meter. You still need to change focus if you want to read information. So uh, we do some tests and we realize that focus distance should be at least 20 meters. Right. When you ride very slow, your focus 10 or 20 meters. When you ride a little bit faster, your focus distance grows quite fast. So uh, in city, your focus 100 or 200 meters. So, and only this technology can offer uh, long focus distance. Very which, is, technology. which is what a rider wants. Yeah. Plus, all the navigation and add Bluetooth communicator, add a 4K high definition action camera, yeah, get a course. certified helmet that's ECE DOT certified. And if you add it up to the price of the helmet, a GPS that displays on a true heads yeah. up display, a Bluetooth communicator, and a 4K action camera. You, you put it all in one thing that's all voice commanded. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, you can't can't beat it. Thank you. Yeah, Thank welcome. you, Vladimir. Welcome.